Welcome to Stratmore's video about one of our well-known coating products, Protector Coat. Protector Coat is a clear, transparent, low sheen coating and can be used on any cementitious surface, as well as bricks and even unglazed tiles and wood. But it is not suitable for smooth, non-porous surfaces such as metals and plastics. Suggested applications include internal concrete masonry block and in situ walls to help keep them clean and maintain the concrete look. External concrete block and in situ walls in areas such as patios, barbecue pits, etc. For any waterproofing application requiring code of compliance, our concrete block sealer system must be used. Once cured, protector coat forms a non-absorbent clear coating which resists water and will not blanch when wet. The coating is also resistant to weathering and UV exposure. These blocks have all been through a rigorous testing program over several years and have withstood harsh environmental conditions. Ensure the surface is free of dust, dirt, mold, algae, oil, grease, efflorescence or any other contaminant. It is important to remember that any undesirable marks or stains which you can see on the surface now will remain visible after application. Check that the temperature is above 7 degrees Celsius and that the relative humidity is below 85% at all times during application and drying. Do not apply when dew is present or about to form or if it looks like it could rain. This is the equipment you will need. A flat stick for stirring the coating. A roller and tray. The roller will be suitable for most surfaces. For rough surfaces, such as exposed aggregate, Use a longer nap, but be aware of over-application. Do not use a foam roller as this can trap air. A brush. For touch-up work and getting into difficult areas such as recess pointing, use a brush with a good amount of bristle. A drop cloth if required. A wire brush. On concrete blocks, one litre will cover about three to four square metres for the first coat, but this will vary depending on porosity. For example, if they are honed or not. Refer to our data sheet or our website for more information about other coatings and their coverage rates. www.stratmore.co.nz When you open the pail, protector coat looks a little like yogurt. That's okay. Do not thin the product. Use the flat stick or spatula and stir slowly to prevent trapping air in the coating. Incorporate any fillers which may have settled at the bottom using a slow scooping action to lift them up and blend them into the liquid. The liquid will soon lose its yogurt-like behavior and become smooth and runny like a normal paint. Apply using a roller or brush. A roller is suitable for large surfaces. The brush should be kept handy for touch-up work and for accessing difficult to reach areas such as deeply recessed pointing. Spray application is not recommended as the coating needs to be fully worked into the pores of the surface. Apply in two directions, ensuring the coating has worked well into the surface. Ensure the pointing is well covered, but do not apply too thick a coat. Use smooth, even, unhurried strokes, ensuring that no foaming occurs. If you get excess coating, say in the pointing, use your brush to take away the excess. Use brush strokes that are parallel to the pointing and any other areas where there is any sagging. Also, don't be too vigorous with your roller or brush strokes because you don't want to generate any foam. As it dries, the white emulsion will become clear. Excessive foam, applying too thick a coat, and poor drying conditions will cause the coating to remain white instead of going clear when fully dry. Allow a good amount of time between coats, at least two hours. Clean up using water and before any skin occurs on the equipment used.